crop position of our camera is maybe not in a place where I want to have right now, but um, we'll reposition later. Right now, actually, I want to increase, leave it up and look more down. So this way it's helped me to kind of overview of the material distributions and on the plants that we're going to put it in our lake. Um, one thing, let's go ahead and enable some water. We will hide afterwards, but it is help us to look on some coastline. So to do this, we'll go ahead and just can click and create water, or we can create a flat object and a fill up. And it's depend what you like to do. I would recommend for this one, just create one simple object because we can isolate in this case, our water and um, kind of work this way. Otherwise the water will be extend all the way and depend on reflection or other things you try to enable. It may will be affecting our render time. So to create right, we're going to create a cube and you can see right here, our cube. We'll go take our cube and scale on the side. So I'm going to scale all the way this way, all the way here. So it's a little bit even overlap far. It's fine. We'll go here and we'll go all the way up to there. So kind of like almost where is the lake. And now let's go bring down and you can see as we're going down, we can say, okay, how far we want to go in the water. So in this case, let's bring about this area, maybe a little bit taller and we can play a little bit more with these settings. And at this point, I want to select the water. So we'll go inside the, um, our material selections and let's go to find our water in this. And right here we have it. Some of the, okay, let's click, close it, some effects. And I have a little bit more materials because they from, um, Geekert Play Super Pack with materials. So it's a lot of different ones. If you're interested, you can always get this at a Carnacopia. But right now we're going to select some of the water. Let me collapse some of them. And right here we have it, some liquids and pre default liquids as well. So we'll go to select the um, default water for now. We don't need foam. We don't need anything. And on this water, we're going to open material editor. Important for me is going inside the transparency and look on this fading out. So, and I want just fade a little bit more. You can see it will add this murkiness to the water, which is good. We want to do this way and we'll maybe play a little bit more after. Okay, let's take our bump map way down a little bit more calm water. Okay. And we'll come back to the water adding more effect, add uh, how depth it can be and some other effects. But the, right now, this is just a placeholder for us. So just so we know where the water will go at this. Okay. Now let's go ahead back to our terrain, our lake terrain, and we'll start working on adding um, some first simple layout. So right here is our ground. Let's open. And I want to change coloring on this. So let's unlock because this locking um, automatic kind of um, mixing colors. And I want to add a little bit more sandy ground look color. So we'll add brownish to this color and we'll add another brown kind of to another side. So have it kind of more earthy look. This is our base base color for our terrain. Let's let's go to add a little bit more sand look closer to the edges where we're going to select. So we'll go to create a new layer. We want to keep it as a world stand right now. However, let's go scale one. Okay, and we'll go to um, probably rename this later to um, or right now to the sand. So we know what is representing. Okay. Same things. We'll, uh, we'll use it natural grain for this. Only our color will be a little bit yellowish. Kind of darker and a little bit brighter yellowish. So kind of somewhat sandy look. 
Okay, right there. And I want to place this on the bottom bottom. So for this one, same things. We'll go to the present and we'll bring this down. Okay, it's like it on the bottom. Let's do one thing. Let's go ahead and enable um, highlighter so we can see in this case because there was two close colors but highlighter helped me to see where is this distribution will go so and it's what i want i want place to right on the bottom right there okay we'll go to add a little bit of fuzziness go down and i think this is about right blending for me okay maybe a little bit more on the top let's see how it will blend slightly right here better okay so I think that is about right for this. Well, now we can remove our highlighter. And let's another add. It will be on the top with the grass going. So we'll create a new layer. Okay, and we'll call grass. Okay, let's go switch to one. So we have just to um, properly scales. Okay, and actually, you know, we can switch this one to one as well. So a basic scale okay now on our grass we'll switch again to natural grain because i like this procedure of mixing okay and right here we'll go select some grassy look okay and a little bit brighter grass look so we'll mix between those two Okay, you can see right here so when it's refreshing we have a nice grain all going covering okay and same we want to reduce some of the effect on the side so let me go boost alpha a little bit so in this case shouldn't affect because we don't have alpha just okay right here let's just slightly boosting up okay let's go increase roughness so we have a little bit more patches you can see right here kind of patching a little bit more up here maybe a little bit too much just slightly down okay so this is one coloring and let's go to um also presence and just decrease on the bottom slightly and fastness and i want to take this grass and put it below the sand so it's right here with a blend it's blend just a little bit nicer Okay, this is, will be our basic, basic coloring at this point. We can go ahead and click OK. So the next things I want to do, it is actually start distributing ecosystem. And we're going to use the painter tool. And uh, this point is where, okay, let me go remove this tree. And painting, it's one of the enjoyable and fun things to do inside the VU. So if you don't have this module, ecosystem, how I said before, I do recommend for you to get it if you, again, want to work a little bit more inside the VU and create some other scenery. So again, we'll go inside the terrain, we'll open terrain editor, and right here we'll add a new layer. But this layer, you can see right here, we used simple materials before. Right now we're going and switch to ecosystem. So notice right here we have a new layer ecosystem and we can call this trees. Okay, we also will create bushes and maybe some grass. So right here echo trees is created and we want to add some trees to this. So let's go ahead, click add plant and base it on your collections or what do you have it inside. You may have a different type of the plants. You can always to use it some basic one. So for this, I actually want to go mix between different plants. So we'll go to add uh, some spruce, some of the uh, pine type of the tree. We're also probably going to add, okay, so we add this plant. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll add another plant. And this is up to um, what you like it. I do recommend mix sometimes those plants with a different one so in this case i'm probably just go add white furniture and notice right here it says that this is tpf so it does give me warning if you the the plant factory so i'm going to say okay because i like this plant but it will add 
more use of my memory so it's kind of you can mix between of those and i think we between two right now it will be good starting point um so we can create some of those forest okay right here and i'm zooming out and one thing i don't want to click populate at this point what i want to do it's actually paint so i'll go click paint and then notice right here we have our paint tool Okay, let's go very fast look on our paint tool. Oops, actually, I don't want to do this. So we need to remove those ones. Okay, I want to paint and we have it populate singles. So we'll go create our populate brush. Okay, we'll go right in this area and you can see as I click, it's already start putting some plants. So we'll have it a brush radius. I think this is about right. Okay, we follow scale. I think this is all about right. We could remove limit density, but for now, let's check in. If we want to plant grass in very dense grass, we probably want to uncheck limit density. But right now, it should work fine. So right here, let's start. And you can see as I click, it's creating those mix between different plants. So it's what we had before. So I'm going just right here. Just add on the areas. And you can see it's kind of does not paint that good. So let's go ahead and check limit density. And this way we should have a little bit more. So I'm painting a little bit trees on the side here on the back. Let's bring around here a little bit more. OK. And just right there. Again, I don't want too many trees, but let's go right here painting. This is our back kind of forest will go. OK, so if we preview, you can see we add some nice plants right there. And that's where I about want to paint them. We will go to add manually some of the plants. But I think this is will be good beginning for some of those trees. OK, let's go ahead. Click OK. At this point, we have our plant very rough forest backdrop will do same kind of other things now i want to add on this edge i want to add some kind of bushes right here so we'll go again and this time we'll add a new layer and we'll same we'll go and we'll select to ecosystem okay on this case let's go to select a different plant so on what i want to do is select um is there our trees this one i like elders at so we'll select two different colors and i do recommend for you to have it kind of a mix even the same species but it's different colors will add nice coloring into our view so we'll go right here and same things we'll go to inside the paint tool okay paint brush and let's go zoom in and as I'm moving, you can see right here, if I click, we have a nice kind of placing of the bushes. Again, I want uncheck limit density. And actually, this one, I want to go right here just by the edges. So right by the water. I don't want to say paint in the water, but I want paint right by the edge of the water. Okay, And with this, we're going a little bit closer to right here. Let's go look around and just around this area right there. And we'll paint a little bit more. We'll just add a few more plants. OK, let's look. So you can see we have a nice kind of interesting distribution going right here. So this area just a little bit open. So let's add a few more plants right to this area and I can actually can paint a little bit from this angle as well. Okay, so I can go and paint just right here. This is nice things about painting tool. So I paint right there, painting right there. It's almost overhanging on the water. And let's paint a little bit more right there. This is maybe I need to raise afterwards. We'll see how it will go. But it's about right. Okay, and we can add a few more of them right around this area. Okay, I think 
we're good right now so let's go ahead click file save so let's go save it and let's render and see what we have so far okay let's look and you can see we have a nice those trees nice placement of the bushes still been a little bit naked right here but at this point we can start work and put it single plants but to do this what we want we want to take our camera now and actually we want to now start placing our camera where we want to see so we'll go bring closer and clip it down look around there lake maybe a little bit higher around here so you can now see the areas we want to kind of display or hide so this is will help us to create properly in some areas okay we'll go right there okay maybe even just slightly out okay right there okay let's reposition so kind of open I think this is about right position for our lake also we can enable our mountain so we can see on a back we can select our mountain this time and bring even closer so it's look somewhat massive okay, and this is our basic basic compositions the next things what we're going to do it's add now middle kind of foreground between mountains and here so we can see far away kind of almost mountains some this area okay let's go ahead and continue in next tutorial for this